Hanoi is one of the most rapidly developing cities in Asia and also has some of the poorest air quality on the continent. Hong Wei Ti was already keenly aware of the city's pollution problem, but a study from Harvard University brought the issue into sharper focus for her. Previously, there were very few people who believed that air pollution in Hanoi was primarily caused by the 20 coal-fired power plants surrounding the capital. However, we learned from a Harvard University study and from our own research how coal-fired power was impacting the air quality of the capital. Hong Wei Ti in her organization, Green ID, began to compile data about air pollution and other environmental issues in her homeland. As she and her team formulated reports, Hong was constantly being reminded of the dangerous levels of pollutants in her everyday life. Air pollution has a direct effect on people's health. As soon as the air conditions get worse, we start coughing and have difficulty breathing and even have dizziness. I would always monitor the air quality and remind my children to wear their masks to protect themselves. Hong and Green ID travel through Vietnam's urban and rural areas to educate communities through workshops, media and social networking, as well as building relationships with government officials. Our organization develops positive and constructive recommendations to foster change. I work for Green ID. We build relationships with international partners who support the growth of sustainable energy and also encourage Vietnam's economic development. We share our information directly with ministries and other relevant corporate partners, as well as with local governmental and non-governmental agencies. Hong put a vast grassroots approach into action that fostered activities ranging from energy-saving programs to neighborhood cleanup and water purification. As a result, the Vietnamese government began to engage Green ID to help to inform decisions on major policies regarding energy solutions in the government's power development plan. We implemented a public opinion poll and compiled that feedback for a congressional committee and other major stakeholders. As a result, we were enlisted by the government's economic commission to help analyze how renewable energy development can contribute to the national security and energy safety in Vietnam. When the Vietnamese government announced an energy plan that would significantly increase the use of coal power, Green ID proposed a plan that would increase the role of energy efficiency, expand renewable solar and wind energy, and reduce the number of coal plants. After four years of collaboration and engagement, the Prime Minister announced a plan that would eliminate the equivalent of dozens of coal plants from the proposed energy plan. When we heard the decision, we shouted and even cried because we were proud that we had contributed to a better future for Vietnam. The current Prime Minister has emphasized many times that the priority is not to sacrifice the environment for economic development. I'm encouraged for everyone who is working to help protect our environment and also provide a model for other developing countries in Asia. For outstanding environmental achievement for Asia, the 2018 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Hang Wee Thi, Hanoi, Vietnam. <laughs>